Hi, my name is Nani. Have you ever wondered why your audience is not giving their full attention toward your speech? Well, I'm here to tell you today about the few things that will help you get the audience interested in your speech. Why, why am I giving this speech? Just like I said, is to make, your, make sure your audience will give your full undivided attention and will be interested in your speech by the ways you talk in your speech and your tech different types of techniques. Why am I credible? Because I've watched the numerous videos over the past week and I think that I have gained a, a lot of knowledge through these different types of points. My first point will be how to cite sources verbally and to be specific. The second point I'll be going over is how to, how to practice for an upcoming speech. And the third is how to use notes during my speech. So let's start off by uh, how to verbally cite our sources. So why? Just to boost our credibility as a speaker and to just clarify our sources and to see if they're credible or not for our audience. So what to include? First think about um, what information will help your audience. It's not just about you, it's about who your audience, um, who they'll resonate with. It's not you just don't want it just to be about yourself. The main point of your speech is to convey to your audience what your topic is about. Um, the first thing you want to include is the author name, their credibility, the dates published, the type of work, the type of work and source, and yeah. Uh, example, some differences, differences would be short or, or long. I prefer, personally, I think a long would be just more beneficial for the audience so they can get uh, just the, get um, get an understanding of who your author is and what you're trying to um, give it credit to uh, to them. And then the next one I said is how to practice. I think uh, personally I like to practice out loud right before my speech. I go in a, an, a pro just right off um, of the classroom. I like to just practice my speech outside in nature not in front of a mirror obviously because you're going to be looking at yourself and the mirror it's not a good idea so first practice out in front of an audience i preferably i try to do it like in front of my dogs like eric said in the video so um i think that's good because they can't really tell you like what you're doing wrong but in front of my parents i tend to just joke around so i think just uh in front of just an animal i think that would really work for me and then um in chunks, um, for the informative, I think I'm going to practice more in chunks, like Eric discussed in class, rather than just putting the full, practicing the full thing out because I won't get, it won't be a beneficial for me if I just practice this whole thing and say I'm good because I'm not really that good at what I'm going to say to my, the class. And the third and final thing is using your notes during a speech. I preferably in the past have used Sentences I wrote down the whole speech and I just continued to look off it because I got very nervous So I just read the sentences off um, So like Eric said always in class he said to write keynotes Keywords so you're engaged with the audience. You're not always looking down the note card because you're just drawing the attention to yourself and just um, Showing off your nervousness um, when you're looking down the whole time. So just be engaged with the audience use your hand gestures uh, things to avoid be like I said full sentences um, you're writing too small because you're putting your thing right by your face. It's not a good idea. You want to have, like Eric said, a pamphlet like I'm doing right now. Uh, just to glance down and look at it, at your notes. Um, unnecessary words that you can't really pronounce. Um, I sometimes do that not knowing what I'm going to say. So just practice, like I said. And thinking you'll be perfect the first time is never a good idea. So multiple drafts, like Eric said, practice over the weekend. And I think you'll be good. So just to recap my three points, uh, verbally citing sources, like I said, uh, giving credibility as a speaker, don't just say, oh, I got this from here, actually say according to blah, 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 and then that will be, that will make your audience think you're a credible speaker. Uh, how to practice for your speech, like I said, out loud, practice multiple times in chunks um, to, for our informative, informative speech coming up. Uh, don't practice in front of a mirror because you'll be looking uh, at yourself and the mirror and how you 
use your hand gestures and stuff like that. And then the final one, like I said, using notes during a speech, I think is very beneficial, uh, especially for a professional conversation. Don't use sentences. Don't use small handwriting that you can't see it. They either put your note card up to your face so you can squint and kind of see it. I think that those three points are very beneficial and can really help someone be a successful public speaker by using your notes, practicing, uh, citing your sources uh, verbally so that your audience knows what you're going to talk about and know that you got them from a reliable website. Thank you.